Okay. So Ben has brought up the robot. Uh, so Ben is, imagine Ben is uh, working in a aircraft maintenance facility. And um, as he's um, starting his day, he's realizing that, you know, maybe he uh, uh, needs to uh, lift this tire and get it ready for some maintenance. And so what you'll see here, this tire weighs 130 pounds. He's able to lift it up, place it. Um, during this time period, if he, if he wanted to, um, he can um, unclutch, he could do anything that he needed to the, the tire, he could do dexterous tasks. Um, but Ben, why don't you tell us a little bit about what that just felt like? Yeah, so that felt very light. Uh, the robot has a 20 to 1 uh, strength amplification ratio, which means that uh, this tire, 130 pounds, uh, it felt much, much less, just a fraction of weight. Normally, it would be a team lift of multiple people, but I could just do it by myself. Um, yeah. So Ben, um, so that's the weight. What about the seat? What's that feel like? It feels good. Um, I have full mobility and uh, can do all of the motion tasks and everything that I would want to do. And as you can see here, uh, the robot has a hands-free mode. So on this tire, um, if it was a real aircraft installation, I would have to align the hub and uh, tighten down nuts. And so this allows me to uh, lock out the arms and then I can use tools or my own hands for any desperate dexterous tasks that are necessary. And, and speaking of tools, uh, what are these things here? Yes, yeah, so these are the uh, end effectors. And so these end effectors, um, they have a quick release um, and they're designed for any specific task. So that's these are the end effectors that I used to put the tire on. Um, but over here we have different end effectors that can be used for the baggage. And so they have a quick release. And just in a second, I can take them off and then I'm ready for a new task. So as you can see, uh, some of the things that